Okay, so let's see if we ran another trial. And this time in this trial, we're gonna keep the chlorine concentration the same from the original experiment, but we're gonna double the concentration of our nitrogen monoxide. Well, when you compare the rates in experiment three versus experiment one, the number 5.73 is roughly four times the size of 1.43. So our rate is quadrupled when we go from here to here. So how are we going to show this mathematically? Well, just like before, this time we're going to exp compare experiment 3 to experiment 1. When we do so, we're going to look at the concentration of our nitrogen monoxide in experiment 3 over the concentration of nitrogen monoxide in experiment 1. We're going to raise that to some exponent y, the order with respect to nitrogen monoxide, and that's going to equal the rate for trial 3 over the rate for trial 1. So when we doubled that nitrogen monoxide concentration and everything else remained constant, the rate quadrupled. So when we did the concentration for the nitrogen monoxide in experiment three compared to the concentration of nitrogen monoxide in experiment one raised to some mystery exponent y and that's going to equal the rate for trial three over the rate for trial one And we do a little bit of algebra and simplify. Well, 0.5 divided by 0.25 is 2 to the y power is going to equal 5.73 over 1.43. So that's 4.01. So 2 raised to some power has to equal 4. So y has to equal 2 its second order with respect to our nitrogen monoxide. The order's an exponent, right? The rate is directly proportional to the square of that nitrogen monoxide. What if you double, when you, what if when you double the concentration, the rate went up by a factor of eight? What would the order be then? So order's an exponent, so you double the concentration. So when you compare experiment three to experiment one, you've doubled that number. But when you look at the rate three, rate one, that's gone up by eight. So when you go to solve for it, x would have to equal, oh, x would have to equal three, right? two cubed is eight, and so it would be third order. If we did another trial, experiment four this time, we know from previous trials that when chlorine is doubled, so did the rate. And when nitrogen monoxide was doubled, the rate quadrupled. So if we double both of them, what do you think would happen to the rate? Well, if you said eight times bigger, you're right. We would take that original rate. One chemical makes it double, the other one makes it quadruple. So the new rate in that situation, 11.4 times 10 to the negative six meters per second or technically 1.14 times 10 to the negative seventh. Based on these calculations, 
if we wanted that reaction, the rate law for that reaction, nitrogen monoxide plus chlorine makes NOCl, we would say the rate equals some rate constant K. It was second order with respect to nitrogen monoxide. And it was first order with respect to chlorine. Something very important to note that it's just a coincidence that the exponents in our rate law match the stoichiometry in the reaction. Absolutely a coincidence that is not always the case. Please make sure you remember this part. Okay, the only way you could figure out what the orders are, you have to look at experimental data. That's the only way to solve it.